Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again. Today we're going to have a look at how to play what I think is my favorite cheap trick track, Tonight It's You, despite the track being a bit more on the pop rock side of things. Now, Tonight It's You was the sole single release from the band's much maligned 1985 album Standing on the Edge, with many critics and fans alike saying that this was the only good cut on this somewhat uninspired album. But boy, did they hit it out of the park on that one good track. Hooks for days with this one, and they were rewarded with a much-deserved top 10 rock hit with it. That said, let's close in, learn how to play it, shall we? All right then, tonight it's you and Cheap Trick. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial. One thing I want to mention before we get started is there's numerous layered guitars going on here. This track is very uh, highly produced and polished. I think there's like three or four electric guitars, there's acoustic guitars going on, there may even be a banjo. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm, I'm listening to it and I'm thinking, is that a banjo? But a lot of guitars going on here, so we're going to kind of focus on the two main electric guitar parts, kind of how they would play this one live, right, with just two electric guitars. Robin often uses a 12-string electric for this one to give it a little bit more weight, but uh, I might as well show you uh, the acoustics, what the acoustics are doing here, at, at least during the verse, right? F sharp major, down to B major, into G sharp 7, back to B major, and repeat. So uh, what uh, Robin is doing uh, over top of that is this. And repeating. F sharp major just on the A, D, and G string, right? Just strumming those three strings. And then chromatically riding the G string from the third fret to the fifth fret while holding those fours on the A and the D. and repeating three times. Live, he often plays it like this on the D, G, and B string, right? F sharp major here, four, three, two, and drops onto the four of the G, and then goes up to the five of the G, and just hits the D and G together, and then back, right? he's on a 12 string, you know, it has a bit more weight to it. Now what uh, Rick is doing over top of that is this. that little progression three times. I'm pretty sure he's plucking with his index and his uh, middle finger here, right? In the right hand. Plucking those two notes together. You can play it with a pick. You know, palm muted, right? Kind of like that. So what we're doing here is just kind of a variation on what Robin is doing, right? But just on two strings, the D and the G, fourth fret of the D, third fret of the G, and then just moving that three of the uh, the G chromatically to five and back again, right? more prominent guitar going on uh, during the verses. Now, in the second half of the first verse, things change up a little bit. Uh, Robin drops out of this little progression that he's playing, right, and drops up to uh, F sharp major here at the ninth fret position with a bar chord on the four middle strings, F sharp major there. So he kind of just strums that, lets it ring for a bar, then drops onto the sus on the 12 of the B, right, four middle strings, off to just a bar on the nines and then back into the F sharp major on, on, at the 11th fret, right? Repeats that twice, and then slides out of it leading into the pre-chorus. Uh, live, he'll strum this, right? Don't stop thinking with your eyes. 
And now what uh, Rick is doing over top of that is more plucking, uh, kind of an octave higher than what he was doing earlier, but with a little variation. So, we're on the 11s, G and B. Drop onto the 12 of the B, then 9s, and then back to the 11s. And before uh, repeating it, you're going to go 12, 11, 9, 11, kind of double timed, right? 9s, 9. and then you grab that double stop on the 11, slide out of it, and then we're into the pre-chorus. repeating that little uh, chord progression five times. A power chord to an E power chord into a B power chord or a full B major bar chord if you like. Uh, when we go into that B we're going to hang in it for a bar and a half the first four times. The fifth time we're going to hang in that B for two full bars. Kind of like this. One, two, three, four. and then we drop into the chorus. Now the chorus, uh, three chords, D, E minor, G, and then back to D again, right? All I want is a place in your heart to fall into. Now uh, the strumming pattern here, this D, we're kind of in a, uh, we're in each of these chords for one bar, right? D, then off to E minor, and then into G and back to D. Strumming pattern down, 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 up, down. Kind of like that, right? Now before repeating, we're going to do that little embellishment. Drop onto the sus on the third fret of the high E, off to two, off to open, back onto two of the high E. Kind of like that, right? And then repeat. And at the end of the chorus, we're going to drop into A, and then jog that A into G with a very quick D with this F sharp in the root. So we're coming out of that A. We're going to drop into D with our uh, middle finger and pinky on the uh, second of the G, third of the B, with our index up here on the two of the low E, muting the A string, right? And then we're just going to shift fingers here and drop right into G, right? A, D, G, leading right into the next verse. Right, and then move it up here to, to the 11s. Nines, 11s. Right into another pre-chorus, right? A to E to B. Right, five times, final time, hanging that B for two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, chorus. into the bridge. Now the bridge is uh, the first couple of bars, first like eight bars. Uh, the only guitar going on is this F sharp major chord with the open B, open high E. Every two bars, right? Just the top five strings, let it ring for two bars and then repeat. And the main melody is being carried by a synthesizer, right? Playing this. show you that. Uh, ninth fret of the A, 8, 9, 8 of the D, down to the 9 of the G, and then 11, 9, 11 of the D. 
right? And then you're going to repeat that, but the second time, you're not going to go to the 9 of the G, you're going to go to the 11 of the G. And then 11, 9, 11 of the D, right? Right, and after you repeat that a number of times, uh, for eight for eight bars, I believe, uh, Rick comes back in with this. So same as what he was doing earlier, now on three strings, D, G, B on the 11s. Kind of palm muted, right? Or at least palm mute the D string. Drop onto that 12, off to the 9s, back to the 11s. Play that little transition, right? Right into another pre-chorus. into another chorus. That, my friends, is how you play Tonight It's You by Cheap Trick. I certainly hope you enjoyed that, found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to my channel. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you, and we will see you next time. Cheers.